You sorry you married me? As though you didn't know. I only wanted you to tell me again. Oh, my darling. I'll be living this last week over every moment that I'm away from you. Then we won't be separated, will we? Because I'll be living it over, too. I thought you were having Mr. Hamilton to tea. I am. I mean, I was, but... Who's in that room? Oh, please don't go on there, Miss Minchin. Oh. <sighs> Miss Minchin, Miss Rose and I... We... We were saying goodbye, Miss Minchin. How dare you risk the reputation of my school in this manner? Nothing's happened that damages your precious school's reputation. As a matter of fact, Miss Rose and I... Jeffrey, for my sake. Oh, please, Miss Minchin. It was all my fault. Silence. Since you are here merely to say goodbye, please do so. Now. Bye, Jeffrey. Bye, Mr. Jeffrey. Bye, dear. Sarah, I shall expect an explanation of this. Yes, Miss Minchin. As soon as I can think of one. been cornered like rats for seven months. I say send more troops to Mafeking if it takes every man in England. I'm with you. No! No! Oh, my boy! My boy! My boy! Oh! They killed my boy! I know soldiers are supposed to stand a lot. And my daddy is a good soldier. But they've waited so long for help. Please do something about Mafeking right away. But they'll all be lost. My daddy won't come back. Oh. that Sarah's birthday should fall on a day when we're celebrating a glorious victory for Her Majesty's Army. And now, Sarah, will you explain to the children your wishes about your birthday? I'm very happy to have you here. And I thought I would like to give presents today, not just receive them, because I... 
I wanted to show how grateful I am that my father has been rescued. Quiet, children, quiet. May we do the presents now? Yes, but your gifts first, Sarah. This is for me. Oh, thank you, Miss Midgen. Now all I need is to know how to sew. <laughs> <laughs> and this from the entire school. Here are pictures of your native India. Oh, thank you ever and ever so much. I shouldn't have to pretend nearly so hard when I want to make believe I'm there. <laughs> and now, do you want the others to have their presents? Yes, if you please. They're all over here. And your names are all on them. Here you are, Miss Rose. Oh, how nice. And would you help with the other presents? Of course, dear. And this is for you, Miss Minchin. Oh, how thoughtful, Sarah. And, uh... From one old trooper to another. Me in younger and happier days. When I was better known as Bubbling Bertie. Oh, thank you. We'd better keep this present a secret. Mum's the word. I should say it is. Here, this is from me. Oh, thank you. Hope you like it. Why, it's just what I wanted. Mum's the word, you know. Rather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, miss. Oh. Here's my present, miss. It ain't so very good. Oh, thank you, Becky. It ain't nothing but flannel, miss. And the flannel ain't so very new. Why, oh, you dear Becky, you made it all yourself. Yes, miss. I made it at night. I knew you could pretend it was setting with diamond pins stuck in. It's beautiful, Becky. I shall love it. Oh, really, miss? The friend lines are very new. And this isn't so very new either. It's my present to you. A present for me, miss? Yes, Becky, with my love. Oh, what is it, miss? It's a scarab from Egypt. My daddy gave it to me because it brings good luck. I'd rather you had it than anyone else I know. Oh, hello, miss. I think I'm going to find it. Oh, no, Becky, not now. I have lots more presents for you, too, in my room. I don't know what to say, Miss. You're sweet, Becky. Yes, yes, very nice. Oh, look at mine, Miss Manchin. Yes. Beg pardon, Miss. Yes? Mr. Barrow of Baron Skipworth is here to see you. Today, I didn't send for him. He seems very much upset about something. He's waiting in your office. Very well, I'll go at once. Miss Rose. The scarf is beautiful. Miss Rose, will you be sure to tell me when it's almost 2 o'clock? Of course, dear. You know, I have a very special appointment with my daddy. He's going to be thinking of me at exactly two. I'll watch the time. Thank you, Miss Rose. Oh, Sarah, thank you for the handkerchiefs. They're lovely. Don't you think it's time to cut the cake? Oh, yes, the cake. <laughs> Pray be seated, Mr. Barrow. How much did you advance for this party? Quite a sum, I suspect. What does it matter? Captain Crewe is a very wealthy man. His check will be here shortly. No, Miss Mitchin. There'll be no check. What? What do you mean by that? The late Captain Crewe. The late Captain Crewe? Captain Crewe is dead. He was so reported in the list this morning. Moreover, he died a bankrupt. Bankrupt? But his property, his mines... His property and his mines were confiscated by the enemy. You mean to tell me that that child is penniless? That she's left on my hands with nothing? She's certainly left penniless, and she's certainly left on your hands. She hasn't a relative in the world that we know of. But her father's account is overdrawn. I was expecting a check in advance the money for this party. So I understand. But this is monstrous. Now you have to make a wish and blow out all the candles with one breath. My wish is that my father will come back very soon. Now take a big breath. I haven't got very good lungs, have I? <laughs> I'll turn her off in the streets. You think that wise, Miss Minchin? The reputation of your school, you know. My school? Well, the report might get about. And it might not sound well to the parents of some of your other pupils. Yes, that is so. Of course. The child could be made to serve in your employ until her indebtedness is worked out. But that would take years. Quite so. But at least it's better than nothing. Hurry, children. Your ice cream's melting. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah, it's almost two o'clock, darling. Thank you, Miss Rose.
Daddy, I am thinking of you. And I know that wherever you are, you're thinking of me, too. Oh, Miss Rose, I felt him with me. I really did. Miss Midgen wants you, dear. Oh, all right. Children, you will leave your gifts here. Why? Where are they going? Why can't they take the presents with them? Because they are not yours to give. But I don't understand. You will later. Go to your room now. But Miss Minchin... Sarah, go to your room. All of you. Now will you tell me what it's all about? What has happened, Miss Lynch? Whatever it is, you might have let her off a bit easier. Silence. Captain Crewe is dead. His name appeared on the list today. He's left the child a pauper. Oh, Miss Lynch. You had better tell her. Oh, I, I couldn't do that. You will do as you are told. What's wrong? Why did Miss Minchin stop the party? Sarah, I want to talk to you a minute, dear. Oh, darling. Oh, Miss Rose, what is it? Sarah, you're a soldier's daughter. And you know that that means being brave and courageous, don't you? No matter what happens, Oh, Miss Rose, is it something awful? Your father. But my father's all right. Papa King is relieved. You heard them say so. Help didn't get there soon enough, dear, for him. His name appeared on the list this morning. You mean with the wounded? No, dear. Sarah, I'm so sorry. It can't be. It isn't true. I won't believe it. He isn't dead. He isn't. <laughs> Have you? Yes. You may go. Sarah, you understand, of course, that these rooms can no longer be yours. Come with me. This is to be your room in the future. I shall have to sell your furnishings and your clothes to pay part of the debt your father owed. Ordinarily, you would go to a charitable institution. But I'm going to let you remain here. There will be duties for you to perform, of course. I hope you appreciate my kindness in not sending you away. I was unable to find a black dress among your things. So one of the girls has given you this. You better take off that party frock and put this on. I'll send up some shoes. 